Uh, just an update on the uh, garden. These are our peppers. Uh, this is the third year I've worked this plot of soil. And like I said, when I was planting the onions, it's got a lot of stuff in it. And I think it's really improved this year. So these are all green bell peppers and jalapenos. They've got buds on them already. There's some buds. And I think I saw a jalapeno already popping out. Where did it go? Oh, there he is. Wait, no, that's the bell pepper. Okay, there's, there's one of the bell peppers. And over here, there's some more starting. But up here, no, 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 it's green and I lost it unless the wife came out and picked it. Uh, these are the eggplants that I planted, which got eaten up by potato beetle really bad. I mean, really bad. So I've been coming out here every morning and pulling off any potato beetles I find. And Oh, there's a little tiny one right there. See them in there? Anyway. I've planted nine more. Uh, what are we looking at again? Oh, nine more eggplants. So I'll start all over with these. In case they don't make it, I'll have backups. These are San Marzano uh, tomatoes. Inside there's tomatoes in there somewhere. I saw them. Anyway, these uh, were a gift from a neighbor, Andrea and Mark, and they're doing really good out here in this soil. And these are red snapper tomatoes. There's a big one down there. A couple little ones going next to it. Anyway, red snappers. And then uh, some basil. And this is a volunteer squash. I don't know what it is. It just started growing. There's another one that just started growing all by itself. I think it's going to be a acorn squash. I think that's what that's going to be. They just popped up, started growing. Because I threw a lot of my own mulch that I made. And obviously it had seeds in it. These are ruby crushed tomatoes. They're doing pretty good. There's a single little red one in there, but these are a cherry tomato. Like I, if you ever get a chance to grow these, they're like eating jelly beans. They're so sweet. Anyway, they're taking off. There's some sage. And then these were a couple yellow zucchini plants here that I was gonna grow up on these trellises or on these T posts. But when I lifted them up to tie them, they snapped off. So I pulled them out of the ground and I'm growing some new ones. And I've decided not to grow them vertically. And I'll try again another time. This is a zucchini. You know, anyone who's grown zucchini understands they're very prolific. Uh, I thought this was a squash plant that I planted. It turns out it's an egg. Um, hold on. It's not the years, it's the mileage. Uh, butternut. I'm like, how the hell did I mix up a butternut with what I thought was either a zucchini or a yellow zucchini or something, but anyway, it's growing and it's taking over this area. There's another one. And then this is the scallopinis. They're very prolific, doing really good. And then these are our, um, what do we got? Four cucumber plants. 
And we've harvested some cucumbers already. They're doing good. Nice and green. Looking good. And then these are the onions. They're starting to bulb up. And there, obviously those are white onions. Um, these are gonna be red onions. And there's some sweet onions somewhere in this mix. I don't know which is which. So when these are harvested, I already have some new onion starts going. And we'll succession plant so we have onions. These are our watermelons that all died. This is a new plot that I just tilled up for this specifically. And all the watermelons that I planted uh, stopped growing. That's about how big they are. It might be because we haven't had any heat. Haven't had some good heat. These are all cantaloupes. They're doing okay. Uh, the more it heats up, the better they're gonna grow. And then over here is buttercup. Squash. Love the buttercup. And they're delicious. There's, there's a nice dark green one. That one will be ready pretty soon. They grow real fast. Good survival crop. And some more butternuts. So this, this is a brand new plot that we tilled up and I haven't had time to really add any amendments to it or anything like that. So I did put some Chilean nitrate on all this. Uh, these greened up since I put the Chilean nitrate on there. The watermelons are continually, they're still dying. So I have some new watermelons going and I'm gonna let them get bigger before I stick them in the ground and maybe that'll help them out. Anyway, that's where we're at there. Okay. So we stopped harvesting our asparagus and we let it go to fern. And now we're just gonna let it grow and grow and grow until winter when it turns brown and then we'll cut it back and mulch it and then wait till next spring. Next spring will be four years on these crowns right here. So this bed we can harvest for like eight, eight weeks or better depending on how the plants do. This will be, next year will be year three on this bed. So we'll only harvest for four weeks, give or take. And you can see how they fold over, so it's difficult to mow and weed whack around them. So we came in and we tied them up with string and bunches to try to hold them up. There's a bunch there. See, they're kind of separated because we got them tied up. Plus they'll blow over and the wind here will kind of, sometimes they'll break. The big stalks will break. Oh, there's one of the guineas. They like hiding out in here. Oh, down here is a volunteer squash plant that decided it wanted to live in with the asparagus. So I'm just gonna let it go. And, I think it's going to be maybe a pumpkin. <laughs> I'm not sure, but we'll see. <sighs> Gotta love gardening. Y'all take care.